All right, guys, it is July 21st, and today I'm going to be mowing all my clover plots, going through and showing you uh, what I have here at the farm uh, in our progress. It's been a little bit since I've done an actual breakdown of what we have. Uh, real quick, like I've said before, 90% of our watchers are not subscribed. So please, if you're watching on YouTube right now, please go and subscribe to our channel, like a video. Uh, it'll really help us out. Uh, I'm standing in the middle of the mega plot, which as you all know, we made smaller this year. It's only clover and chicory. Uh, the part that was beans and brassicas last year, we uh, let the farmer plant in soybeans. But uh, we're real thick with clover. It's good shape. Obviously, since it's been a couple weeks since I've been here to mow, there are some weeds popping up, but uh, I'm real happy with the clover. Uh, this is year three for this clover over here on this side. It just keeps getting better. We do a little frost seed. Uh, we overseed every once in a while. Uh, it's just in really good shape. All right, this is our border patrol uh, killer food plots. Put it in uh, a couple months ago, and as you can see, I hit it with nitrogen a few weeks ago, and it's really coming in good. Um, that should provide a really good screen for us uh, so the deer can feed in here secluded uh, this fall. Over here is our new section of fusion. And a lot of weeds. There is some chicory and some clover in there, but we definitely need to mow this off. Um, a lot of grass has popped up here. Uh, this was just like that over there grass before so uh, as you can see we get down in here you can see there is some chicory hiding out and some real small clover but uh, it needs a good weed it needs a good weed treatment and a mow and uh, we're, we're going to accomplish that by mowing it off uh, but the old section up there is pretty good you can see all those blue flowers are uh, chicory blooming so uh, definitely need a good mow today All right guys, I'm here in another section of new fusion that I planted this year. And a month ago it looked really good, but if I turn the camera around, right now it looks really weedy. Lots of grasses, lots of tall stem grasses. There is clover and chicory coming up down below. But we have some volunteer sorghum that was left over from last year's screening. Um, but this rain we've had, I haven't been able to get a mow in here in at least a month. But this rain we've had, um, things are a little bit out of control. But I'm going to get this all mowed down today and hopefully the weather conditions are better over the next month and a half or so before the season starts. Uh, and this will really rebound hopefully. Um, just with the weather we've had, it hasn't really been the best conditions to keep weeds out of your clover. But we're going to give it a quick mow. All right guys, I'm gonna give away a little bit of a tip here. Uh, a lot of you know that I am a full-blown trail camera nerd, and I always have been. And pictured right there behind me is a $28 Walmart Tasco camera. And one of my secrets is I buy a lot of those cameras and I shove them in places like this. I'm way off the road, uh, way in the back, on the edge of a bedding area. There's a ravine down there. This is an old scrape from last year. Uh, and this is a scrape that's been here for many, 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 many years. You can see that it's still kind of wore out. Um, I mean, I haven't had a camera on a scrape here for maybe 10 years now. And I take these Tascos and I just bury them back here with a 16 gigabyte memory card. And they'll last forever. They take great pictures. Uh, they're reliable. And you can gain a lot of intel off just cheap cameras like that. Uh, we run a lot of those down in West Virginia. Half our cameras in West Virginia are probably Tascos I bought for less than 30 bucks a pop and you can go out and buy a whole bunch of them and it won't cost you that much money and the intel you get is really really good so i'll show you some west virginia pictures off of tasco just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like but we have uh, a whole bunch of those in the woods and we're going to continue to have a whole bunch of those in the woods so there's a little trail camera tip for you all right guys real quick again another uh tacticam adjustment 
Uh, this one was on a mineral lick, just wasn't performing that well. So I moved it out to the edge of a bean field, like most of our other cameras right now. Beans are king, and this is a far side of the farm where I don't usually have a lot of cameras. So hopefully, uh, hopefully there's a buck hanging out in this back field that we don't know about, and uh, we'll get some pictures of them here soon that we can share. There's Old Mill Road, completely flooded over on both sides of the bridge. The bridge is up here, and usually it floods on the other side of that bridge, but the flood on this side, it's only two or three times I've seen that, that's pretty serious. 